iOS 16 is here? Well, not really. So Apple has opened its iOS 16 beta channel for all users with a compatible iPhone. Until then, it was only available to developers and the stable version of the iOS 16 is expected to roll out in September or October following the launch of the iPhone 14 series. Now, Apple has already showcased its iOS 16 at the WWDC event last month, but today we have its access and we are checking out five cool features that the iOS 16 is bringing this year. If you want to check out the iOS 16, you can head to our Instagram page. Check out this reel that I made where you can show, where you can learn how to enroll yourself for the iOS 16 program, but we'll advise you to wait till the stable version is available because the beta version can be filled with bugs. But if you still want to check out what the iOS 16 is bringing this year, Watch this video till the end. This is Abhik, let's get started. So let's start with the most obvious one that is the lock screen. Now Apple has been experimenting with widgets for the last few iOS versions, but this year's iOS version is bringing widgets. But sadly, the native iOS apps are only getting support for widgets. We hope that Apple will also bring the support for third party apps like WhatsApp or Snapchat or even Gmail but we'll have to wait for that one. But what is changing is a significant development that Apple is bringing this year, which is that you can now seamlessly change the wallpaper of your lock screen as well as the home screen. I'll show you. So I have an iPhone 13 mini where I have already downloaded the iOS 16. You see, if I have, if I long press the home screen, you can see a bunch of photo options and you can seamlessly choose either of them. But if you want to set up your own wallpaper with the lock screen what you can do is you click on this plus icon at the right you'll see some options at the top such as photos people photo shuffle and if you scroll down you'll seamlessly see a lot of other options too so in this case my favorite is the emoji lock screen what it simply does is that for instance i select this emoji here and i click on this button at the bottom left and i can select a bunch of emojis that i like so say for instance, my frequent used emojis are eyes, monkey, heart, sleeping, and the laughing emoji. At one point, you can choose up to six emojis. So I have done that. Once I select the emojis that I want, there's an option to even change the pattern or the placement of these emojis. So say I swipe right, and there are a bunch of patterns that iOS is already creating. What I also like is that you can change the color of the background. So say for instance, the one that I've chosen has a blue background, but I can make it black, purple, or I can change the tone of it. And that's it. Once you do that, you can set this as your wallpaper as well. So when you set it as your wallpaper, Apple iOS 16 automatically change it, changes it to a blurry effect, but you also have the option to keep it just the way it was. So if I put it as set as my wallpaper, I click here, I have the option to customize, and that's it. So another option that I like that Apple is introducing is that you can also set your own image as the lock screen wallpaper. So say again, you want to do it, you long press the lock screen, press the plus icon, go to photos, and here I have a OnePlus image. Say once I put this image, I can change the color tone. So in this case, I can put some filters. I go with this duotone filter that Apple has introduced. I quite like it, to be honest. And just to put the clock in sync with the wallpaper, you get a bunch of font options. So here you can choose between the light font, the dark font. You can also change the color of the font in this case. I'll choose a blue one and you're good to go. Another change Apple is bringing with the iOS 16 is how you view notifications. You see, if you look at smartphones these days, the size of the smartphone screen is continuing to increase and at times it makes it very difficult to hold it in our palm. What I mean is that when you want to access notifications, say from the top, using it with one hand becomes difficult. So what Apple is introducing is that it is letting users change or view notification from bottom to up. We already saw this change last year with the Safari browser where Apple brought down the search bar at the bottom so that users can seamlessly use the whole browsing with their only thumb. But this year we have a different option. So say for instance, you have the lock screen and you scroll from bottom to up. 
and you can view your notifications. You will also get the option to view notifications from top to bottom as you get with the older iOS. And you can change the settings by going to the settings app and hiding notification from the sender or from the receiver or just cancel notifications at all. Any upgrade, whether Android or iOS, is incomplete without photos. And now let's talk about it. If you look at changes in terms of photos, we will look at two things. First is the camera app and second is the edit option in the photos app. If you look at the camera app, Apple has introduced two new options. Now you can easily change between the wide mode and the ultra wide mode with, sim with simple toggle. You also get the old option to hold it and change the zoom of the camera. Another change that you will notice is that there is a filter option at the top right. What I also like about this filter option is that you can change between, you can choose between multiple filters and you can also change the warm or the cool tone of the photo. And if you use an iPhone 13 or any iPhone 13 series smartphone, Apple has also improved the cinematic mode and the portrait mode. Similarly, the edit option in the Photos app is getting some changes. One of the most notable, notable changes that Apple is introducing with the iOS 16 is that say for instance, you edit a photo and use a certain filter or certain color contrast. Now you can copy paste it and put it across other photos as well. For this, for instance, I have this photo here. Say I change the contrast, the exposure, and this is what I want to use for my other images. So for that, what you have to do is go to your top right option. Here you will see a copy edits option, select that. Now you go to any other image and you can simply paste that filter option. Apple is also giving you the option to revert back to the original photo. So for that, you just have to go to top right. And again, press revert to original. And that's it. Another major change that iOS 16 is bringing this year is to the keyboard. Now users can use dictation function to type seamlessly and it can work be it WhatsApp, the note, native notes app or even iMessage. So say for this, all you have to do is Say I have the notes app here. You will notice this mic option at the bottom right. You press on it and you just start typing. But of course, this is still in its early phases. So the, the typing experience is a little buggy. In that case, what you can do is you can simply go back to the old method of typing and you are good to go. And lastly, any iOS upgrade without any new privacy features seems incomplete. This year, Apple is introducing something what it calls lockdown mode. It is basically designed to prevent users' privacy, especially when they think that they are being attacked by a spyware. Now, lately, you must be seeing a lot of spyware attacks such as Pegasus or Hermit. What Apple is doing that with the lockdown mode, you can simply cut down all the access to your messages, your web browsing experience and so on, so that users can safeguard their data on the smartphone. Now, of course, when we try this feature, it still seemed a bit buggy. So we are expecting Apple to improve it with the upcoming beta updates and finally with the stable version whenever it rolls out later this year. But until then, we are relying on Apple for this lockdown mode and to see what with how it will exactly help all the customers. Anyway, these are the top five iOS 16 beta features that we like so far. We will be obviously covering more features once the stable version rolls out later this year. Share this video with someone who you think needs it and is an iPhone user. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe to Fiber and Fiber Hindi if you want to see more videos on iPhone and Android smartphones. This is Abhik signing off.